everyone, welcome to another Mastering the Draw license application strategy video. And in today, we're gonna go over kind of a high level overview of Colorado Big Game and just what species they have to offer, some of their deadlines, um, and what month we cover in the hunting pool, which is coming right up. So for, get, for big game species, they have sheep, and in that sheep, they have actually two sheep species. They have Rocky Mountain Bighorn and Desert Bighorn. Now, it works a little different because Rocky Mountain Bighorn is drawn based off of a weighted slash preference point system, and Desert Bighorn is completely random. You do have to select which one you apply for. You can't apply for both. That's why they're both under that sheep umbrella. Um, they also have Shiras Moose, Mountain Goat, Elk, Mule Deer, and Antelope. Now, they also have bear too, but we're not gonna dive into the bear application very deep on this one or at all. We might touch that on another video. Um, the application deadlines, so they have one basic draw deadline, which they call the primary deadline for all big game applications. Then they have what they call a secondary draw, which basically is anything that's left over or is, doesn't have enough applicants to exhaust those applications they're going to go into what they call the secondary draw which is in early july and as of recent years they've also included some other permits in there that either a didn't get bought in time or like the credit card declined and it went back into the draw pool or the applicant that uh, that drew the tag surrendered it back to the division and declined the tag um, I guess you have to accept it and then turn it back in. But at any rate, they have included those types of permits in the secondary draw. I'll go into that a little bit more in another video as far as which ones go and which ones don't. Um, and we cover Colorado for the most part for the draw, for the draw species or the draw period in March. And all species are covered in there. And we talked about different units, like this is where we break down the different draw odds, harvest success you know, explanations of what the units have, things like that. But we do cover that in March and that'll be coming right up. So that's just this brief little video that we have today on this. We're gonna have a couple other videos that we're gonna go into more detail on the draw procedure and just exactly what species they have and point systems that it takes to draw them. But for now, uh, hopefully you found this video informational and helpful. And if you like it, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.